All right, guys, we got a special guest here. This is Renault, right? Correct. Um, in French, we would say Renault Salmon. And this guy is like on fire right now. He's uh, the creative director for Amouage. I don't know if you guys watched last year, but we had an opportunity to talk about the Amouage Gold Collection that they uh, launched, or I guess it was a relaunch for the Gold Collection. Oh, nice. Um, but now we're here to talk about some of the newer fragrances. We have three new fragrances that they just launched and we want to dive into them and we'll talk a little bit more deeper into it. I know you guys have probably seen some of the content he's created about the fragrances. But for those who haven't, I want you guys to check out this new line because they are fantastic. I'm going to let Renal take it away from here. Can you tell us about your new line? Yeah, so it's a collection of three fragrances. Yes. We call them the essences mm -hmm. because they are infused mm -hmm. for six months following a double aging process. And I can try to explain a little bit what it's all about, but those fragrances, they are made out of perfume concentrates and ethanol, alcohol. Okay, so 30% perfume concentrate, 70% ethanol. And the, the two components are aged for six months in parallel. The ethanol is aged in wooden barrels, mm. in oak wood barrels. Okay. The perfume concentrate is aged in metallic barrels, but infused with sandalwood chips, so, so, can, so yeah. that they can really like take the substance of the sandalwood. And after six months, the two of them are mixed together. Wow. Okay. So like uh, you would do whiskey in a barrel. So it, it's a little bit the same idea. Um, it's actually, I mean, it has a big impact on the fragrance because it kind of creates this woody veil around the fragrance that you are going to smell in the three different fragrances. Okay. But apart from that process, the, the, the fragrances are brand new, so new creations from four different perfumers because okay. two perfumers worked on, on one of the fragrances. Okay, interesting. Um, and we can smell them. So Absolutely. The first one is called Reasons. Um, and I'll give you the the bottle if you want to look at it. Yeah, absolutely. So, new bottle for our yeah. watch, first time in um, 15 years. So, magnetic card, um, oh, you know, like metal engraving with all of the, uh, the legal mentions at the bottom and so on. Is this acrylic or clay? So, it's made out of glass coated in ceramic, so mm. double uh, material. So, Reasons was created by um, mm. Bertrand de Chauffeur. Oh, the famous Bertrand de Chauffeur. Yes, so okay. he created Jubilation 25, yes. Jubilation 40 for Armoage, and many other fragrances. Um, what we smell actually opens up with hazelnut, mm -hmm. Davana. Mm -hmm. So, Davana gives this kind of um, apricot, floral, um, leathery aspect to the fragrance. Okay. And then Palo Santo. Palo Santo is a wood that smells between the creaminess of um, sandalwood mm -hmm. and the smokiness of guayac wood. So imagine a wood that is smoky and creamy at the same time. This is Palo Santo. And I'm getting that. Definitely that smoky woody tone. And there is this woody veil, overall woody veil around it, yeah. that you get from the infusion process. And you, did you say uh, uh, there is an incense vibe? Is it like frankincense or? Oh yeah, and, and then you have definitely like many other ingredients. Usually we like to use frankincense at our wash. So stick with the DNA. Yeah, one hundred percent. So wow. that's the one I like to smell first okay. because it's probably the most gentle out of the three uh, compositions. Okay. Second one is called Luster, and this is the one that was created by. Two perfumers, Julien Raskine and Paul Guerlain. Okay. And this is the button. So, wow. luster. The name luster evokes the, the you know like the reflection of the light uh, on the sea at night. You know, okay, it's yes. kind of beautiful gold, mm -hmm. sparkling light. So I wanted a fragrance that was very creamy. Mm -hmm. Uh, very gold, mm -hmm. and when I say gold, think about gold ingredients, you know, like vanilla, mm -hmm. sandalwood, mm -hmm. orris, um, and a touch of cardamom as well. Okay. So all of those ingredients create this impression of something very creamy, yeah. woody, 
Uh, that's what the fragrance is all about. It's a creamy, woody fragrance yeah. with a bit of vibration, a little bit like light of making on this. I definitely get the creaminess. I definitely get this kind of sparkling, kind of uplifting vibe. But there is a there's a sweet undertone that that's unmistakable. And I mean, sometimes you can get that with sandalwood and the creaminess that, that definitely comes along with that. And the vanilla as well. Absolutely. And, um, and some lactonic notes, so it gives this kind of milky, creamy sensation to the fragrance. This is sensational. Wow. I, I, I did not expect that. This is gorgeous. Okay. Should we move to the last one? Yes, absolutely. So last one is called Outlands. Outlands meaning, you know, like the unknown mm -hmm. territories, unknown countries. Mm -hmm. This is a fragrance that was created by Cécile Zarokin. They're my favorite perfumer. I had the opportunity to speak to her recently. That's the button. And um, this is the fragrance. You can see that the metal at the base of the button is always telling a little bit the story of the different fragrances. So if you remember, you know, like this, this, this represents like a map of unexplored territories. Yes. This one is like the, the, the sheen of the of the light actually on the, okay. um, on the sea. So, and this one was um, the reason, so like how actually, you know, like one element can create waves Multiple. of, uh, um, of uh, how do you say, propagation of you know, mm -hmm. consequences. So, wow. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> so that's the last one to finish with because it's quite big. Yeah, yeah. This is bold. So that fragrance is um, a very potent equilibrium mm -hmm. between acidic notes okay. and warm, rich notes. Acidic notes they come from mostly lemon, mm -hmm. but uh, and other citrusy notes. Yeah. With the aging process, the lemon moves from um, a zesty lemon to some kind of candied lemon, you know, that you, you get a little bit of that residuous mm -hmm. type of lemon. I can see that. And then the, the other side of the equilibrium is the warm amber back of the fragrance that Cecile is a, like a master of, yes. you know, like ambery notes and such, she masters that. And then in the middle of the equilibrium, you have patchouli. Okay. Like a big, big amount of patchouli. Now I'm definitely getting that 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 uh, citrus and that acidic kind of smell, almost like a lemon tart. Yep, that is totally. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm digging that. I'm really enjoying that. And you said towards the mid and the dry, you want to get that ambery kind of smell, oh, which yeah. I'm starting to get a little bit of it now. But so, yeah, this is this is this is another fantastic one. So good. Yeah. So th those are like the three different creations. I think it's best to to wear them, you know, and to really like see how they evolve because they are really complex fragrances. Okay. We did not have much time, you know, to actually wait for the evolution and so on. But something that I would encourage you to uh, absolutely to, to, to follow. Well, I'm gonna get an opportunity, hopefully, to have these fragrances on my channel. I'm definitely gonna try my best to purchase these fragrances so I can review them. A little bit more in depth but this was a great opportunity just for you guys to get a little bit more insight on the fragrances i truly appreciate the time pleasure this is a great opportunity and uh, guys i encourage you to go check out the website um, check the fragrances out like i can say any of these if you like that what we just described are blind by worthy you can check them out on the website i'll link it down below once again it was a pleasure guys on to the next good thanks